Hey guys, I'm Lamrus and I'm gonna show you something very, very important if you just get this beautiful Samsung Galaxy Active Watch Active 2. This is very active, but actually when you get it, like me, you will see actually this is deactive. Disconnecting every two minutes, every second from Bluetooth, and you're gonna say it is not active and you're gonna frustrate it. But what's important, this watch is beautiful, guys. And I'm gonna show you exactly how you can have you can finally to get free and not frustrated to say, oh my goodness, I paid so much money and what I'm gonna to do now with this active two, which is disconnecting all time from the Bluetooth. I'm gonna show you three very important steps. And believe me, it takes for me two weeks to understand those steps. You cannot find anywhere. Even Samsung company says, we don't know the watch is perfect. And people says, oh, please update, update. It doesn't work. But guys, this is from your smartphone. Let's go. The first step, what we're going to do, we're going to open battery optimizing. How we're going to do is please scroll down your search button and write battery optimizing optimization and you're going to open it at and what you're going to do now why my phone is now very slow let's see what's happening exactly guys you see here not allowed it says right not allowed not allowed means galaxy variable you see this is the number one app if you are using just samsung you will see this you will have just galaxy variable that you can connect your smart what to your smartphone but if you are using like me Huawei or LG or whatever Android phones you're gonna face with three different apps and I'm gonna sh show you at the end how you can also to to fix these three apps but now you see here not allowed that means I have I have turned it off that my galaxy wearable app on my smartphone can connect all time to wear to my smartwatch and when you read here you will see actually your app is not here I'll show you again look now I am here not allowed and you see all these apps which I specifically designed here they can use all time my battery for example my email they can even uh, even if my phone is off they are gonna still in background to use battery and to bring up new emails or my sp uh, sport activities or whatever what you're gonna to do you're gonna just what you are going have to do sorry my grammatic you're gonna open all apps now you will see on your phone scroll down to read where to your um, here we are galaxy wearable Guys, when you will see first time when you connect your phone, you will see here it says Galaxy Variable Allowed. That means your phone anytime can break down the connection with your smartwatch. What you're gonna to do now, you're gonna tuck, you are going to have to do, you're gonna you're gonna look here, it says allowed. Recommendation for battery, better battery life. I don't care guys for that because what you what is going to do this app, this system is gonna turn off and you're gonna disconnect it, your phone. What you're gonna do, you're gonna say, don't allow, and chuck, finish. And now let's go second step. Second step, second step is you're gonna to your, your sitting and your phone, probably your, your menu look differently, but whatever your phone use actually it's same. What you're gonna do, you're gonna chuck to go to apps. Just go to your apps and what you see, the first option, it says again, apps, app launch, permission blah blah you will open first one apps and what you're going to do here is very important you're going to scroll down again again and again to found to found galaxy variable again unfortunately and what you're going to you're going to do here is power user details you will open this one and look at here it says power conservation alert i don't care for that but it says second app launch background activity manually blah blah you will open this one guys and as you see here i switch it off but 
when you open first time you will see your app looking like this what you're going to do you turn off man automatically and then you're going to fill up these three options these three options means your phone is going to use all time battery to connect to your smartwatch and then you make okay and now we are finished this steps too and we are going the three the most important steps which guys if you are using android google it is impossible your watch to connect it will connect but will disconnect every minutes every second minutes probably at end of night you will see hundreds of times your your smartwatch has disconnected from smartphone this steps three you have immediately switch off and this is nothing except smart luck google i have no idea why google is doing that how are you gonna to do is again how you're going to do that you're gonna your phone sitting again and you go this time security sicherheit of deutsch security you open this one and look at here it is very crazy probably why your phone is easy with my phone it takes a few days i figure out where is hiding you'll open more setting and look at here what he says trust it trust it against so if you are huawei guys you have to figure out if you are another phone that search just automatically on your search bottom text or type it just like um just type smart lock google so here i'm gonna trust it again and look at here smart lock google i switch it off but no matter when you reach to the step three which is very important you will find your phone it says smart lock google is on guys this is the killing connection your phone with bluetooth with wi-fi or whatever but it's very important with smartwatch active too or whatever smartwatch you are using for sport for outdoors you have to switch the smart lock off you switch off and as you see here if you disable this again related device and the smart unlock will also be disabled disable it now and you say i don't care because i want to enjoy my smart watches right and you're gonna okay you see now smart lock google they're active now guys congratulations you have these three steps to do and of course there's more steps but i'm pretty sure this is enough for you that your phone to stay stable connected uh, to your smartwatch and the same time smartwatch to your smartphone but as i said in the beginning three apps if you are using non-samsung smartphones lg or whatever huawei then if you want to use your samsung smartwatches you will face uh, the, your phone or your smartwatch one that you download three apps apps and here's galaxy variable as you see we found the solution for that but we're gonna to do something activity and we open this one and what we're gonna to do power uses details we open it and you see again power conversion blah blah i don't care for that app launches open please app launch and then you see i switched it already off if yours is automatically please switch automatic off and let all this auto launch background uh, secondary all them to stay uh, on and then okay and we go immediately back this video is going to be too long and i try to make it as possible shorter guys i'm sure you're not going to be tired because it's very important and then power use details again with what's active to plugin and you do same here you see all options i have if yours is like this automatic please visit off and fill it these three parts so guys so far so far congratulations we done i'm pretty sure you're gonna enjoy your smartwatch samsung galaxy active 2 which is so beautiful for your sport for everything it is incredible but i'm pretty sure with three, three steps you're gonna uh, you're gonna solve your problem on your smartphone so guys please subscribe subscribe my channel and take a look for that and if you uh, found out your problems please write down a nice comment and if you have problems still you need more help please let me know write your comments and i'm going to immediately take up and to help you